Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today I am bringing you some incredible dupes. <laughs> These are from e.l.f. Cosmetics. I've got four of them. Do I have four of them? One, two, three, four. I've got four e.l.f. Cosmetics dupes to share with you guys that are equally as good as their high-end counterparts. And you guys know e.l.f. e.l.f. Cosmetics is like one of the most like budget-friendly beauty brands there is, really. Um, and they have such a wide array of products. So to find like four, then they're most of them are complexion products, I shall say that. To find four that really are equally as good as their you know high-end counterpart that is multiple times the cost is like, I was just so excited to team up with them and share these with you guys. So first, we're gonna start with Primer and I do have a dupe for primer. So the e.l.f. Cosmetics Power Grip Primer is a dupe for the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Now I've had this for a couple of months and I really, really like this uh, primer. It's a great gripping primer. It's very unique and very different than anything that I've tried. And the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer is equally as good. So what makes these primers unique is that they really do grip, just like the name says, the foundation that you put on. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of the milk on the right side of my face. I'm gonna put a little bit here in the forehead. I usually don't put a lot of primer on my forehead, but today we are going to do just that. Now the e.l.f. has a very similar consistency. So not only does it perform just like the milk does, but the consistency is also very similar. So it feels as if you're using the exact same product. It has a really nice kind of like, tacky feel to the skin, which is that, you know, gripping benefit. I'm gonna apply a little up here as well. Let's apply this, just a little bit. Okay, perfect, oh. So you feel, the skin actually feels like you can feel that little bit of tackiness to it. Now, there is a dupe in, that I didn't, that I'm not sharing in this video simply because I am sharing the powder version of it, but the e.l.f. Camo Foundation. So the Camo Cream, I felt like was a very close dupe to the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. So now e.l.f. Cosmetics has this powder foundation. So we're gonna be testing that. I've got two shades right here, Light 240 Warm and 280 Neutral. I think I'm gonna go with the 280 Neutral. I tend to lean more neutral when I can find them. Um, but these are what the two look like. I'm going to get the uh, neutral on my middle finger and the warm on my index finger. So this is what the two look like. I'm definitely gonna go with the neutral. It's a little bit deeper, not quite as light. I think that this one would work uh, if I wanted to dust it on really lightly with a uh, like large powder brush, but if I wanna really build coverage like I do today, um, I'm gonna use something a little closer to my skin tone. Now the dupe that this uh, is for is the Airbrush Perfecting Powder from IT Cosmetics. And as you can see, this is a product <laughs> that I love and really, really enjoy. I love to use the BK Beauty 107. Now the reason that I like this brush for powder foundation is it's dense enough to really pick up and give some great coverage, but it's also fluffy enough to really blend out. Um, let's go ahead and start with the IT Cosmetics CC uh, powder. I'm the shade medium in this, and I'm really gonna load the brush up on both sides. And we are going to start in the center of the face and just kind of use this brush to press the product into the skin. You can also use a sponge to apply powder foundation if you want the most coverage. When I get out here to the perimeter, I kind of just sweep and buff in little circles. What I like about powder foundations like this is that you can really build coverage. I don't really wear powder foundations a whole lot. Um, I used to all the time when I first started in makeup because of how quick and easy they are to apply. You know, obviously if you have oilier skin, um, you know, powder foundations are a great option. Next, we're gonna go in with the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to start in the center of the face and just lightly press. Honestly, I feel like this gives a little more coverage right off the bat than the IT Cosmetics CC Powder. Like, I definitely feel like that gave more coverage. Maybe it's because it's a slightly darker shade. Yeah, that actually looks better than the IT. Like, it actually looks better. The skin looks more smooth and airbrushed and blurred and I don't feel like I had to build it as much. This is really nice, you guys. So you guys, I actually prefer the uh, e.l.f. Cosmetics one. It gives more coverage right off the bat, and it blurs and smooths out texture and pores better than even the IT Cosmetics CC powder. Okay, wow. I'm gonna actually put a little bit of this on top of this. That looks really good. Very porcelain, very matte. Oh, very smooth. I'm sorry, I'm covering my face with a mirror. That looks so good. 
So for concealer, which I'm thinking I should have done first since I'm working with a powder foundation, I'm actually gonna prep the under eyes. I always like to go in underneath the eyes and apply a little bit of eye cream or a, a hydrating plumping primer before, but I'm gonna go in with this hydrating primer serum from e.l.f. and we're gonna apply a tiny bit of this under the eyes just to um, rehydrate, rejuvenate the under eye skin. So when I put concealer on there, it is just nice and pretty and natural. So I just took the tiniest little drop. I'm just grabbing a little bit on my finger, spreading it and sharing it underneath the eyes. So for concealer, we've got the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and then we have the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. So we're gonna start with a, a Tarte underneath the right eye. Now this concealer, I really like this concealer. It is a very full coverage concealer, so you have to be careful that you don't apply too much. I like to just put a little bit in the corner and I'm actually gonna spread this out with my finger and then go back and blend it with a concealer brush. And I'm using the Angie Hot and Flashy A506 to blend this in with this concealer brush. If you wanna get a lot of coverage, you just wanna press. It's basically like your fingertip, but with a lot of little fibers that help blend into the skin. And then once you've got most of the coverage that you want and you just wanna sheer out and blend out what's left, you just take the tip of it and softly sweep and that'll blend out. Perfect, okay. Very full coverage, very matte. I love this concealer. The key is just not using too much of it. Okay, then we're gonna go in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I have the shade Light Beige. And I find with this concealer, you also just need a very small amount. So I actually kind of wiped off what was left over in excess on the wand. It feels a little creamier in consistency than the Shape Tape. And we're going to just kind of press this underneath the eye the same thing. The colors are a little different. This definitely is more golden, but the coverage is just phenomenal. Like that coverage, unbelievable. When you want full coverage, this concealer is such a great drugstore find. Now the e.l.f. actually reminds me of a great dupe. If like there were a hybrid, hybrid between the Tarte Shape Tape and the Tarte Shape Tape Creamy version, I feel like the e.l.f. falls right in the middle. It's not quite an exact dupe for either of those, but it's right in the middle, so it kind of takes the best of both, and you get it in one concealer. So, so good. Now to warm up the face, I'm gonna use the NARS um, bronzer. This is the Paradise Found Bronzing Powder. I love the e.l.f. cream bronzers, but because I'm using a powder foundation, um, I'm gonna stick with a powder uh, bronzer. So I'm gonna use my BK Beauty 107, and I'm going to really warm up and give the face some color. When you use a powder foundation and you're laying on blush or bronzer, I find pressing it is going to be the best way to get pigment to deposit. It's not like using a liquid foundation where you kind of have that tackiness to grip and grab your blush or bronzer powder. So just pressing it, you're going to get more payoff than like sweeping it. Just a little tip. So I've already filled in my brows with pencil, but I'm gonna go in with a brow gel. And the e.l.f. Wow Brow is very, very similar to the Benefit Gimme Brow. And this is like my all-time favorite brow gel. I love the payoff of it. I love how it gives your brows volume. And I also love the size of the wand. And even though I have found similar drugstore products that kind of give the same payoff, uh, I haven't yet found one that has that same shape and wand until I discovered this Wow Brow from e.l.f. So I'm gonna show you guys the wand so you can see how they're both very small, which gives you a lot of control over you know, where you apply that product. And for someone like me who doesn't have a lot of brows, I really need something small like this. So I'm gonna go in on the right side and we're gonna apply the Benefit. I always put a brow gel in my brows because one, it not only like combs my hairs in place, but also kind of tames them and keeps them in place. So I have, I don't have a lot of brows and my brows tend to wanna to grow down. So a brow gel really helps lift them up. This one's nice because it gives some volume too. I mean, it really is as good as the benefit for a fraction of the price. I'll have all the products listed along with their price in the description box so you can compare the e.l.f. price versus the high-end price. I don't know the, off the top of my head what this is, but I will have both, you know, all the prices listed in the description box. So good. So I'm gonna warm the face up with a little blush and I'm excited, this is a brand new blush. I haven't used this yet. So this is the Primer Infused Blush in Always Cheeky. And I liked this color because it's a really pretty like peachy shade, perfect for spring and for summer, which we are about to get into. 
I've heard that these blushes are good um, dupes for the Tarte Amazonian Clay blushes, which I love those because those stay on all day. And these do as well. I've had these in a couple other shades. I'm just gonna smile and the same thing, I'm just gonna press with my brush. Because this is a lighter shade, I'm using a larger brush. If this had more pigment, I would you know, go down to a smaller brush head. So beautiful. So pretty. Yes, really warm those cheeks up, give them some life. Okay, so I wanna set everything because, you know, everything is like porcelain perfect, flawless, very matte. I wanna set it a little bit. I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Set Refresh Spray. So we're just going to do a quick spritz or two of that. Oh, feels good. And that's just gonna help give the skin a little bit more, um, a little more life to it you know as my skin would oxidize and i was produce more oils that powder foundation would kind of set and look a little bit uh, less matte but this is basically speeding up the process applying a setting spray okay so now that i've applied a little bit of primer on my eyes i'm going to go and do my eye makeup and today i'm using the elf uh, bite size eyeshadow this is cream and sugar i love this let me lift up the lid so you can actually see what the shades look like really great tiny mini kind of neutral everyday palette has everything you need i would like to see more of a matte transition shade in here but you can create a full look with this um, and i'm going to throw in possibly potentially a little bit of this one this is the orange dream sickle version so just more peachy light kind of sherbet shades so i'm going to use the two of these i'm going to go in with this light shade here from the cream and sugar and we're going to apply that underneath the brow bone and just kind of a light dust all over to kind of set to that eye primer next we're going to go in and i'm actually going to go in with this bronzy shade it's got some shimmer to it so i typically don't like to use a shimmer as my crease but we're going to go with this I've done a full look with this palette and really love the way that it turned out. This shade, even though it has shimmer to it, is warm enough so it does create, warm and deep enough for me that it creates some definition into the crease. And I'm just gonna keep that crease shade pretty light and soft. It's like a pretty kind of copper shade, almost like a penny. The skin looks so good, like just so matte and airbrushed. Next, I'm gonna go in with the darkest brown shade from the palette and we're going to use a smaller crease brush. And we're gonna just kind of work that right into that outer corner to give it some depth. And right now I'm using this brush really to just place that color. I'm gonna go back with a bigger brush to soften it if I need to. So I'm not too worried about blending this out so it looks perfect. I'm really just worried about placing that color where I want it and also building up to the intensity that I want. Perfect, okay, now that that's on there, I'm gonna go back in with my big fluffy crease brush. This is the Angie um, A503, and I'm gonna use this to just softly kind of soften all the harsh lines. I don't wanna go over it too much though because I don't wanna lose the intensity of that darkness. If you feel like you do lose it, just go back in with your smaller brush to add it back, and then just softly, softly sh like blend it out. Don't spend too much time here because then what's gonna happen is you're gonna shear that color out and that's not what you want. Okay, next we're gonna go in and we're gonna pack on the um, lid. And I'm using this tiny little brush. This is actually a um, brush in development from BK Beauty. It's similar to our 204, but larger. You can see that it's got much more of a larger brush head there. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the very lightest color from this palette. So, so far I've only used this palette. I haven't used the orange Dreamsicle palette. And I don't know that I will now that I'm actually working. Look at that, oh, this brush just packs it on. I love it. I can't wait for you guys to try this brush. Okay, so I'm just gonna pack it, pack it, pack it. Oh my gosh, so good, look at that. Uh, amazing, love that. All right, now that we have that, I'm gonna go back in and I'm going to kind of build that uh, first shade we started with. It was that like coppery shimmery shade. I'm gonna grab a small little blending brush. This is from the Angie collection. This is the A504. I'm gonna load this up and we're just gonna kind of create a little bridge. This is a bridge between the lightest shade we just laid down and that dark shade that we laid in the outer corner because I want it all to like just gradually fade into one another. I don't want it to look like light and then dark, you know? We, we want it to be a gradual fade. So I'm just laying this on the middle of my lid and kind of going back and forth, back and forth. Next, I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. shadow stick. This is the shade Bronze Metal. I love these, they are so good. On my quick makeup days, I will use this all over my eye, on my lid. It's such a pretty color. It's not too dark, not too light. It's deep enough to work as a lower lash line like I'm using it. It's like this pretty taupey bronze shade with some shimmer. 
and I'm actually running it from the outer corner all the way to the inner corner. So I'm creating a really kind of smoky look with this. Then I'm gonna go back in with, um, where is, I'm gonna use this tiny little pencil brush and I'm gonna take the deepest shade from the e.l.f., which is that dark brown, and I'm just gonna run that right on the outer corner to almost kind of like marry that work we did on the upper outer corner to the lower outer corner. But I don't wanna bring it too far over because it's a dark shade. I really just wanna intensify just that. So I'm basically, imagine creating like a little V, like one, two, like that's what you're doing. Then next I am gonna line my upper lash line and I'm gonna do like the smallest little black line. I'm not gonna make it thick. I'm actually gonna go back and smudge it. This is just a pencil from Makeup Forever. Do the outer corner. I'm really just focusing this on the outer corner and half of my lid. And I'm gonna take my little pencil brush and I'm just gonna run it on top to smoke it out. I love that Makeup Forever pencil because it's very soft and you have time to sm like smoke it out like this. And it's so black. It is one of the like richest, blackest pencils that I have found. And it's waterproof, so it works great when you're tight lining. It just stays all day. Okay, and then you can kind of take your finger if you feel like you need to clean up. Okay, lovely. Then next I'm gonna go and I'm gonna apply a little bit of a lash primer. And then next we're gonna go in with mascara and I've got a brand new Big Mood Mega Volume Lifting Mascara. We are going to load this up. I had one that I'd gone through before. I got a brand new tube. There's nothing like as good as a brand new tube of mascara. It's just like, oh, the possibilities. <laughs> now this is a thick wand, so I'm gonna close my eyes, kind of rest it at the root, and I'm gonna wiggle it back and forth. That way I get product deposit at the root of my lashes, and then I'll gently pull up to extend and lengthen those lashes. But I find that you get more but you get more dramatic results if you do that. Instead of just like swiping like this, stick it there, wiggle it back and forth, and then pull that product through. Also, I find if you close your eye, so just rest it there and then close, it's really the best way to coat those lashes for the best payoff. We are done with the eyes. I love that. I love the lightness in the inner corner fading into that warm bronze brown. So pretty. So for lips, I'm gonna use the BK Beauty Lip Liner in Sweet Pea, and I am going to just kind of fill in the whole lip. I'm not using a lipstick, so this will kind of work as my lipstick. I had a lip balm on before. Actually, I actually had a lip gloss on before, so it allows me to really spread and sheer this liner out. So pretty. So it's basically like my lip color, but just enhance a little. And I'm gonna go over it with the e.l.f. Lip Lacquer. This is the shade Wild Rose. And these are nice and sheer, so that's why I wanted to add that lip liner so I had more color. It feels so conditioning. almost feels like a lip balm. Like it doesn't feel like a lip gloss on the lips. It really feels like a lip balm. And this is the finished look. It has been a while since I've used this little mini palette, but I gotta say, I love this. Every time I've done my makeup with it, I love the way that it comes out. I know it's a simple, basic palette. It doesn't look like much, but it just works. I really, really love this eye makeup. Now, in summary, let's recap. So the Elf Camo Powder Foundation, I think it's not only a dupe, but I actually think it's better than the IT Cosmetics CC powder. And I, you can tell that I'm a fan of this one. I like this one. This is a good product. This is great. This is better. This is better. This doesn't have the SPF of 50. This does, so there's a you know something to consider. But as far as like payoff and coverage and finish, this looks better. Um, they both do blur and smooth out the skin, but this one does it just a little bit better. And the coverage is um, noticeably more in this product than in the IT Cosmetics product. So I'm super excited to discover this, to share this with you guys. Again, the shade that I applied today was the Light 280 Neutral. That is what I have on my skin, and I'm the shade Medium in the um, IT Cosmetics Powder Foundation. Now let's talk about the brow gels. So really like this. If you are looking for a uh, like a fiber volumizing brow gel that has a little mini wand, this is definitely one you wanna pick up. I have the shade, it's taupe. I have the shade taupe in this, and this is like the perfect kind of like ashy, cool tone, um, medium brown shade, really great for I think blondes or light brunettes. Um, so this is really good. And as far as the concealer goes, I don't know that this is an exact dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape um, because it's as good, but it's a little bit more creamier and consistent, and a little bit more hydrating. It's really, I think the best way to describe this is a hybrid between the original Shape Tape and the creamy version of the Shape Tape. If those two kind of merged, it would create this. Great coverage, great product. 
And when it comes to the primer, which is possibly where I should have started, really such a great dupe to the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip. Really, I mean, if you were to, if I were to like blindly apply these, I wouldn't be able to tell you what the difference between the two were. Really, really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you Elf Cosmetics for partnering with me on this. I'm gonna have all the products that I use as always, including the Elf products and the other products listed in the description box below. And again, I will put price points in comparison so you can kind of tell the difference and how much that you are saving when you go with the dupe over the high end. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye.